You don't have to be quiet. You can talk. Hello. Good morning, everybody. I'm here with the fabulous Ebony, and I have just quickly removed her color and pushed back her cuticles, and I'm about ready to prep. So I'm getting this um, bit out right here, and I it's my favorite um, prep bit. You might have seen me use this before. Um, so I'm going to switch out my sanding band. This is the zebra sanding band that I used to remove her color. Go ahead and put that bad boy on. Good morning, Teresa. I'm going to ask you to help me with the reading of the comments. Can oh, you handle that? Okay. So I'm just going to go around all the nails here with, um, with this bit. This is a, a bit that I use on almost everybody now. Um, it's called the 2S pointed or pointed um, football bit. Um, you can get it at Love Nails. Bring them on camera. Hmm? No, I just see that. Oh, that's on. just, oh, yeah, okay. Facebook lets you bring someone on camera if you oh, want to. Right I'll never do that. Someday that would be fun, huh? Okay, let's see everybody doing nails. So it's a very easy, <clears throat> excuse me, easy bit to use. Cleans up the cuticle area real nice. And it also lifts it up, which is what I really like. Um, really kind of really separates it. it. Oh, yeah. I have it, but need to put it out and use it. Pull it out and use it. Yeah, I have a couple of them. And as with any prep bit, you know, if you're using it every day, all the time, you really need to make sure that you are replacing them now and then. I would say every four to six months at the most. Um, if you're feeling like your bits really kind of just getting smoothed out, because they're diamond bits, right? So they start to, the diamonds start to go away. Um, then you want to change it out because you don't want to be smoothing out the nail too much or you're going to end up with problems. I've had uh, people in the past that are like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong and I've just started getting my thing. And I'm like, when's the last time you changed your prep bit? And they change it and the problems go away. So it's kind of one of those things that you just have to keep an eye on. So I'm going to go around, and I know in some states you can't uh, do anything with the cuticle, but I'm going to get her poor little hangnails here because she gets them. And you can get rid of translucent, but make it so that you don't get quite as much um, grow out, you know, if you remove some of this then you can get farther up on the nail bed which is good Cindy said good morning, Jess. Good morning, Cindy. So I'm going to be using Trinity on her. Um, it's what I used on her last time, and I want to say you went a good six weeks, probably. Yeah. yeah. Because... Uh, she is going to Hawaii, so she stretched it out so that they're good and fresh right before her trip, which is pretty normal, I'd have to say. Everybody wants fabulous fresh nails before they go off on a vacation. Kara said, how are you feeling? Can't wait to see you. Hello, hello. Hi, Kara. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it, but I have a little bit of a throat situation sore throat but not too bad taking the zinc drowning myself in um the lovely uh antibacterial stuff you know all the good things all the good things all right so I'm going to get a file. Check it out. It's a oh. zebra. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so what's exciting is that these have been out of stock from Accents for like two months, and I found like six of them. So I'm like, oh, because they're my favorite. So I placed an order yesterday. They said they are sending more. So if you are a Zebra file user and you have been wanting a Zebra file because it's been a while, they are on their way back in stock. What is it so about the Zebra just to... They... It's got a really good grip to it, um, and the uh, and the grit doesn't fall off very easily. It just it and it feels nice. It's a when you file it leaves it's almost a deeper sound because sound has a lot to do with when you file too. It's kind of weird, but it does. I can tell the different files by how much sound, but it's a lower. You know when I use something like this, do you see um, how that's higher? Yeah. It's got okay. a different sound. So, I don't know. It's it's my preference. I love these zebra files. So, she's going for a little bit of a tapered square, not quite a coffin. So, I'm not bringing it all the way in. Um, we're just tapering it in just a little bit. So, to do that, I'm coming in from the side and I'm just pulling it in. And I'm just going to check with her. Do you like about that good? You want a yeah. little bit more? That's good. Okay. Because uh, last time I had cut them down and I wanted them square, oh my gosh, that was the worst idea. Because <laughs> I have fat fingers and so the square on short nails make my fat fingers look wider. Like little chiclets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I had to, <laughs> so I was just looking, looking like, oh my gosh, come on, Ebony, what did you do? And then... The color I had, it was so bright. I liked it, but it was so bright. And then uh, my aunt was like, what is the little candies, you know, the uh, the orange and yellow? She was like, it looks like that. The orange, chiclets, right? Yeah, probably. I think. And so the whole time, I'm just walking around looking at my like, like, <laughs> Oh, the because you had an orange and yellow face. Yeah, so uh -huh. you had um, I forgot like candy the, corn. Yeah. But they weren't shaped like, like if I had shaped them more like this, then yeah, they would have definitely looked more like candy corn, but they weren't too candy corny because they were square. No, just the color. Yeah, the color definitely the color. Yeah. 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 You were, you were just channeling your inner I Halloween. And so he was like, oh, your nails are so cute. And I was like, thank you. I don't <laughs> like the square. It was like, oh, it's nice. It's like, yeah, oh, whatever. <laughs> thank you compliments just whether you want them or not yeah and it's always when it's something you don't like karen said also i want her nail bed too yours or is she talking about mine you oh what she see <laughs> carrie you actually have um, a little bit longer nail beds than thank that. you cindy with the candy corn I wish I... yeah yeah they're cute I didn't get a picture of them though, I think. I forgot to get one. Mm -mm. It, yeah. They were cute though. Mm -hmm. It was um, bright yellow, so they were sunburst, faded into scoundrel. Yeah, which were I told some... you I wanted something summery. Yeah. And I surely got it. Yes, so, changing up her shape here, and we're blending in her old uh the edge of her nail i want to trinity is going to go on very thin so i want to make sure that my prep is very smooth um there is still product from here all the way down she went six weeks so this is about where it was um but there's still product from here down but this is all her new growth and so i just want to make sure everything's going to be super smooth when i go to apply my trinity so lots of people loving trinity I sold out this weekend so if you but I have more coming today. So if your order did not ship yet, so this is quite a bit different than length, but her nail bed is quite a bit longer. So kind of have to find a middle ground between these two so that they're not crazy, crazy short. But this one is, uh, you know, when you look at it from the top, you want them to be more even. There we go. It's much closer. You want them to look more even. So you're when you're looking at this solid color from the top, you can't tell 
if the nail bed ends here or ends here. So you want your length from cuticle to free edge to be more even because that's what you're gonna be seeing when you look at a solid color from the top, not how long their nail bed actually is. <clears throat> Anyway, so yeah, if you did order Trinity this weekend and your order, you haven't gotten an email that your order shipped out yet, it should ship out um, later today. Um, and then I have to email a couple people waiting on a few things, but it's a busy weekend. I'm glad a lot of people took advantage of the sale. The next sale will be at Nail Camp, and that will be when everything is at Nail Camp and on sale, which is fun. Nail camps in October. I'm excited to see some of you. Cindy will be there teaching extends and there'll be some other educators there. There's over 50 classes over the course of the weekend, which is pretty awesome. And many, many to choose from. Many free. There's always a free option and then you can choose the uh, some of the paid workshops. And most of the paid workshops are actually pretty good price considering that they are reducing them quite a bit more than if you had taken them by themselves at a trade show or elsewhere. So a class that might normally cost $250 is down to like $150 and you're still getting a $100 or $150 kit. So um, Nail Camp is the place to go if you want to get cheap education, um, get your lodging paid for, your meals paid for and stuff like that. So I'll be teaching whatever people want to learn. Got a couple of classes set up. So, hello, Gail. Gail came to Nail Camp East. So. Nancy, hello. Ah, oh, Nancy. I get to see Nancy in a few weeks up in Canada. It should be nice and enjoyable. So my removal, my shaping, my prep, I try to get this done in the first half hour. I've got about five minutes to go, so I'm doing pretty good on time. So I only have four nails to go. You always want to keep an eye on your time. Uh, if you are regular nail tag working in the salon, you want to make sure that you know how long you take for things. And that way, if you're trying to speed up your time, you can figure out what's taking you a long time. So. Any ideas of where East will be? So I'm still working on the location for East. I was actually talking to Alan Baker last night and she was so funny. So our big um, thing about East this year is that we didn't realize that the diet restrictions were gonna be so tough. It was a Jewish camp and they serve everything kosher. Well, someone not being kosher, what does that even mean? Well, they don't serve meat and dairy together. So all of us were like, oh, all right, so it was it you know you have tacos but i'm like yeah where did I, am i missing the cheese for my taco well no there is no cheese for your taco so it was a little bit of a learning experience um so there's been a couple places i found but um some of the restrictions aren't as good or the dates aren't exactly what i want i'm really going for the weekend after easter so if you want to look at your calendar and mark out when you think it's going to be i'm i'm planning to do it the weekend after easter for nail camp east next year um but just picking the right location has been a little bit tricky because I want that weekend and uh, I don't want this crazy restrictions. Or if I have crazy restrictions, I have to figure out how to make that work for everybody because it's a little bit tricky. You yes, said sweet. Almost done prepping. So again, I'm just blending. I'm using the 180 side of this zebra file right now just to smooth this out. You don't need a lot of pressure or anything like that. Thin thinning it out, checking my new shape, and then prepping around the cuticle. And files are shaped like this for a reason. So you're gonna go all the way around and just do small movements and that will prep that area properly. And I'll go straight to the thumb. And I like to come up flat underneath when I'm doing my tapering. Come up flat and roll. This is a technique that the lovely, very well-missed Vicki Peters taught me. Oh, almost 20 years ago, I think. Just come up underneath and roll up and that will give you a nice, smooth, 
outside wall. So what are your, uh, if you guys are Luxio users, what are your favorite fall colors? Does anyone have any favorite fall colors? I know that that's always something people wanted to know. I posted um, some of my favorites on my website in my collection. So things like Potion, which is number one. Mystery is pretty cool. Things like that. All right, so now I'm going to check my length side to side. So nail the nail, this one's a bit long. If you're not checking every time your clients come in, they can end up with very wonky different lengths. So you always want to keep an eye on your lengths and make sure they are staying even. So this one's quite oh, I was this one color you had did a video on it. You had did a fade. She had um almond nails. No. Mm-hmm. What is that? Um, it might have been Kara, actually. Was it like a coral and like yeah. a peachy color? Mm. Demure, which is a very lovely light peach with a little bit of translucency. Works really well for fades. And uh, Coral Carnation was that one. But you can always do it with the brighter if you want me to do that. I don't think we've exactly decided what's happening on our nails yet. No, I never know. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just wiping her nail down really well. This is uh, nail prep, or you can use prep and wipe, or even 99% alcohol. You just want to give it a really good wipe. Uh, mine actually has a little bit of acetone also in the bottle, because when I do stamping, I want to make sure that um, I can get any excess that went on their skin. So a little bit of acetone in there dries it out really well. And that is it. Then I go straight to Trinity. You don't need any primers or anything. Um, that's Trinity. Oh, 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 look at my Trinity. Here I was all ready to do some Trinity. And I am next to out. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. See if I got enough in here. I might. I might have enough in here. Give yourself a good. There we go. Bring everything to the top. Because until the UPS guy comes, I don't got any more. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back to natural, which I love natural. But natural is unfortunately. I just prepped a brand new brush. Where is it? brand new brush my old brushes so the reason I prepped a new brush today I will show you why is that when your brushes start getting older using a lot of glitter see how it takes a long time for it to bounce back so this morning I was like I need a new brush see how much faster it bounces back that's how I know that this brush is good and this one when it bounces back it takes a long time much harder to move your gel with so there's a little trick I don't think I've ever shown anyone. So that's how you can kind of see if you are needing to do it. Jackie asked, why does gel leak from the top and out of the sides? So this is a question we've asked for ages, which is interesting, but it's actually osmosis. And sometimes the, the change in um, pressure in a room can cause the gel to kind of migrate, which is crazy. Um, and especially, you know, you're not going to see it if you leave your pot open, but when you close it, the change in pressure or temperature, I'm not even sure it could be pressure or temperature. We can ask the chemists, um, will change that. So I'm going to flash that two seconds, please. One, two and out. I always do one nail at a time with Trinity because, um, it moves too much and I don't want it to move from exactly where I put it. Um, so yeah, it's osmosis, so it pulls out, and it's crazy and annoying because sometimes I will have colors on my rack for sale, and they will literally do that 
um, just sitting there straight up and down on my rack. And I'm like, no, because then I can't exactly sell those because now they're a hot mess. But they've done a pretty good job of starting to seal them a little bit better than they used to. And so it doesn't happen quite as often. So when you get them, they are sealed. But um, what you could do is actually leave your lids on maybe not quite as tight. And uh, that can help with the change in the difference between the room and the pot. Two seconds. One, two, out. Oh, this is she likes Trinity. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I love Trinity. Yes. Wow. I might have to like go find a little jar. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough. All right. Yeah, Hold, lines. please. You entertain yeah. everyone for just a minute. I'm gonna go find a little jar. Sorry. Uh, okay, I have to. Anything. Tell everyone about where you're going in Hawaii. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Hawaii, everybody. Woo, finally. Going on vacation. I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't know. Um, anybody? <laughs> I hope just come up with something. Uh, Wood Island? Um, what is the island? The island that Honolulu is on. What's that? I think it starts with the O. I found one last little tiny pot. <laughs> oh, nice. it cannot come soon enough. So everybody knows where you're going but me. Yeah. <laughs> it's Honolulu. I don't know the island. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. Brand new little tiny pot of Trinity. Tell everyone yell, chant for the UPS guy. Must come today. It's always good to have a backup. Um, yeah, but I don't know what to do with my nails, though. I came in with this color orange, but I don't know. I always come with a picture and I never get get it. <laughs> I don't know why. All right. And there we go. Sorry for the pausing, people. Moving on. That's what happens in the real world when you run out of something. So I guess you have to come up with something, Jess. Me? Yes. Oh, no. Well, stop having all these colors. I I can't. I can't choose. I was telling my mom about it. She was like, well, just get different colors. I was like, lady, be quiet. No. Well, it's about to get more, so a little secret. I'm about to bring in another line, which is pretty exciting. So there'll be some more colors. Two seconds, please. Cindy, you want to know why Trinity don't need primer? Come back out. I have just found that it doesn't um now if i have a brand new client i might prime to dehydrate the nails but i've been able to skip all the primer steps and have had just really really amazing um results with this um i did have one client who didn't do quite as well in trinity so i put him back into natural um longer nails a little bit harder on their nails maybe um and, you know, sometimes you wonder if it's the shape of their nail or whatever, but they uh, went back into uh, natural. However, other people, even that wear nails longer than that person, has been perfect with Trinity. So, it's hit and miss. Go ahead and put that two seconds, please. Come out. Okay, so if they're going to stop making natural, what compares to natural clear? To be honest, nothing, which is what saddens me. Um, I think balance was designed to be close, but balance is much stiffer and not near as easy to move as naturals. Um, I do still have some natural clear in stock. Natural pink, they've put on back order, and we have no idea if they're going to make more. If you love natural like I do, um, if you contact the company and ask them to keep making it so that I can keep providing it for you, that'd be great. Uh, but as of now, because they're so focused on the LED line, they're not, um, okay, two seconds and then come out and then you can go back in and let it sit just so it doesn't get too hot on you. 
Um, so there really isn't. Now you can take balance and warm it slightly. So whether you use a little bit of a heating pad or uh, something like that, if you warm your balance, it'll be easier to move. Um, it's a little bit more of thinking ahead if you're gonna be using it to think, oh, I need to make sure my balance you know, it's a little bit warm so that it moves exactly how I want it to. Two seconds, please. Okay, right, come back. Oh, um, Gil said, when you're done, can you show the video setup? The camera angle is perfect. So I'm just using a, uh, yeah, I'll show you. But yeah, it's a, um, if I remember, <laughs> it, it's just a, a table mounted, um, phone holder so it holds my cell phone and then I have an iPad going um, on the table so that we can see any questions that might arise. Go on two seconds please. One, two, okay. But this is a very, especially if you're used to running your gels, this is a very easy gel to apply. Um, it just, I highly recommend flash carrying the two seconds. Three seconds and it's hot. So two seconds is perfect. So you go two seconds in the light and uh, it doesn't get hot. It starts the curing process and the product's not gonna move. So you know that where you put it is where it's going to stay. But three seconds is hot. So two seconds, please. One, two, and then come out. And so you just pillow it around the cuticle. And then the trick of this is to make sure you're holding your brush flat. If you're holding your brush like this angle and you're pulling down, you're gonna end up with streaks down your, uh, your gel and divots and valleys. If you want it to be completely smooth, you have to treat it like a gloss. When you use a top gloss with a brush like this, you hold your brush flat and glide it over. It's the same thing. Now, once you cover the whole nail, I always remove from the front any excess and then if there is somewhere that needs more so if you're looking at your line of light and you go okay there's a little tiny bit that needs some you can just do that and then just give it a second it'll self-level what is the wattage of our hybrid lamps they are three watt bulbs um i don't know what the total wattage is because it's got a whole bunch of bulbs but it doesn't matter the way that um the way that old UV lamps worked. So old UV lamps, you had to have nine watt bulbs. And so someone could be like, oh, I have a 60 watt lamp. But if you're using four watt bulbs, they're not going to cure the product. So um, the Accents lamps, I believe, are all a three watt uh, dual chipped bulbs. So they will cure it in both wavelengths. Um, but yeah, new nail techs getting in the mark, you know, in onto the scene now, don't realize, um, just gonna drizzle a little bit here so you can watch it self level. Uh, so the old lamps, the old UV lamps, you would have to buy nine watt bulbs. You needed to replace them every four months, which would cost you mm, 15 bucks a bulb, 10 bucks if you're lucky and they're on sale, but on average 15 bucks a bulb and there's four bulbs per lamp and that's eight bulbs two seconds and then come out for a second and let it cool and then you can go back in i need to know what you want to do girl <laughs> she liked the idea of doing some of these did you want to go you want to do that scoundrel again that orange whatever you do whatever i do yeah well you love the you, orange uh, listen you're the professional okay you know it looks good <laughs> Does anyone else deal with this on a regular basis? How bright? You want this one or do you want this one? Um, I'm going to do that one. All right. Perfect. We'll start with that and then we'll deal with this. Okay. All right. <laughs> she said she saw the holographic video and liked it. So we'll pick something out of there. That set, by the way, my apologies, is actually sold out. I sold out this weekend, but there'll be more in stock soon. So if you're watching this and you didn't take advantage of the Labor Day sale to grab one of those, I apologize, but they will be a little bit and I'll have some more. 
So this is Scoundrel, which is by far one of my favorite oranges. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The other orange is Shock. And this is a great, super bright, great for um, Halloween coming up. If you have people that want, you know, a great like orange accent nail against black. I mean, look how it looks against black. It's perfect. So really, really good for um, upcoming October. All right. So anyway, yes, the lamps now are good. Now I also like the sun lamps and I know a lot of people know about those. They're on um, Amazon, they're quite a bit cheaper. They don't last as long, so you do have to realize that, you know, you may have a hybrid lamp from Accents for four years and spend 250 and in that time you might buy, you know, four um, of the other lamps. So. Price-wise, they end up being about the same because they won't last as long. But they do have a a low wattage on-off, which I like for um, if you're doing a hard gel that um, needs a little bit slower of a cure. You definitely don't need it for Trinity. With Trinity, just do that two-second flash cure, and they're not going to feel any heat. So um, if they go three seconds, though, they will fe feel heat. So that's just learning your gel telling you two seconds that's all it takes flash cures it and they won't feel any heat when they go in for their full cure scoundrel is a great um nice bright orange that's got just a little bit of more of a coral side to it which is nice I get real careful this first coat um, my second coat I put on typically a little bit faster but uh, this is the first one everyone's so quiet today so this is called you know a fill or a 30-day manicure I just my clients just book gel manicure I, I try not to make things so complicated. You know, when you call things a fill, to be honest, you will eliminate clientele because there is a lot of people out there that will equate a fill with fake nails. So they don't think, oh, I can have my natural nails and have that be a fill. That's not in their wheelhouse is something that they really understand. It's, it's different. So even though I'm doing this on you know, natural nails and I'm doing a thin coat of it. It's basically like a base coat um, for my color, but it's stronger and it's protecting their natural nail and now that they can grow their nails out the length that they want. So by wording it differently, you don't block out all of those customers who don't understand that a fill does not mean thick acrylics because a lot of people, that's what it means. A fill is thick acrylic. Um, and it's all about, you know, educating your client. But I remember when I first started calling this a 30-day manicure, they're actually nail techs really mad at me. Because like, that's a fill. You're using a hard gel. I said, well, you know, it, it is what it is. You can, you can say it's a fill, but what if I use a soft soak-off gel? How is that different than a soak-off base coat for gel polish, you know? So it's really the chemistry of the product shouldn't make a huge difference on what you're calling things I think it's more the technique and I'm doing a very thin overlay over the nail with color so um, that's what I call it and people might be mad at me for it but my clients understand so this one ran a little bit so I can fix it now or I can fix it later so I'm gonna fix it now I'm just gonna smooth that out right there where it just my line was not perfect because I am a little bit of a perfectionist sometimes. So. Katie said I should have ordered this color. 
This is a great color. If you don't have this yet, I highly recommend it. I use it all year long, um, not just in the fall. I mean, it's people love this color. So if you don't have it, I would suggest this being on your next order. Um, it is, it's a great color. It's, and people that come back with it are always like, oh my gosh, I got so many compliments on this color because it's just, it's not so orange that it, um, it's crazy. It's, it's nice. Oh, Gail. Gail said my polish application is flawless. I don't know about that, but I get it. I try. <laughs> what? Ebony giggled. What's that mean? You can crack me up sometimes. <laughs> Why? What did I say? Yeah, I do like this color though. Mm hmm. It's a great color. And I'm usually not a solid color girl. Well, this isn't going to be solid when we're done. No, I know. I'm just, <laughs> it, but I'm just saying, you know. Oh, there's no ombre to it. Right. Yeah. Normally we do glitter or color ombre or something like that. So this is a little bit out of your box. Mm hmm But then we'll add sparkle on top, which is so Susie want to know what's the color. This is Scoundrel. Alexio Scoundrel. Gorgeousness. Scoundrel. So if I was going to do an ombre, so this will ombre really nicely with a light colored coral. And I'm just going to show you really quick which one I would use. If I can grab it quickly. There it is. It's not where I expect it on my rack. So this is Demure. And this is a nice light, um, light peachy color. And wow. this one would actually ombre really nicely with a scoundrel. So if you're looking for something to combine the two with. So we're going to apply this. So I'm going to say it's one of the best for summer uh, pedicures for clients. Yeah, it. definitely. Mm -hmm. I would agree. It's just, it's such a cool color. And I'm not an orange person in general, but this color, this color I like. Although I'm still really loving the uh, the orange with that one foil on top. I did a video a picture of that a while ago. And she's since changed her nails, but I still think about it. Because <laughs> I've done it a few times. It's a different orange and different mm -hmm. foil, but it uh, came out really cool. Alright, so my speed has been slowing down. So I'm looking at my time. I have about 10 minutes left, so I want to think, okay, got to pick up the pace a little bit here just so that I don't go over on my time. This is real clients in real world, which means the next client will probably walk in in the next 10 minutes, which is fine. All right. I think we've decided you're going to do foil, but you just don't know which one. Is that correct? Yeah, oh, I thought she was going to choose. Oh, I have to choose? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, put that in. All right. Well, I, I want to know what it is that makes you excited. Do you like kind of the swirliness? Do you like the roses? I'm going to not choose the Christmas and fall, like, uh, snowflake one. This one is, um, well, that's unicorn, so I'm not going to go for that one. This one's, like, tiger print. Mm. This one's um, a different kind of flower. They're kind of like a... Yeah, I don't want any flowers. Too busy? Okay. Yeah. Do you want this cool kind of mosaic one here on the end? That one's kind of cool. 
Okay. She's going. She's okay. She never sounds excited, guys, till she's done and she leaves. She's like, mm. and she kind of just makes sounds as she walks out the door. You know, she's happy. Well, I know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm weird. I don't like my nails the first day. She doesn't like her nails. I don't like my nails the first day. So when I get my hair done, I don't like my hair the first day. I like it the second day for some reason. I don't know. A little bit of that yeah. osmosis happened with my stick it. All right. Go ahead and get it. So this is stick it, and I'm just gonna brush it on the whole nail. You don't have to brush a lot. So this, in this way, I am brushing with my brush straight up and down. See the difference? When I'm glossing on my Trinity, my brush is parallel. When I'm doing my stick it, I don't need to apply a gloss layer like that. So I'm just doing a very thin coat with my brush up and down. Um, I do have another silver set. If you do want um, some foils with silver, it does also include the roses, um, but there's just some different ones in there. Um, so you can take a look around. It's just this particular set. It's a little bit, a little bit sold out right now. Are you talking to me or are you talking to the viewers? I was talking to the lovely viewers. Oh, okay. You don't care if it's sold out. These are nail techs. They want all the stuff. So you show them how to do something, you show them what it looks like, and they want it. And then I, I can't provide it all the time. So that's a little bit tough. This morning I did um, some cat eye with the new neon cat eye, which is super fun. Um, that doesn't really look neon per se, but it's a nice, it's blue and purple. Do you have a color that changes? Whatever. The mood changing yeah. ones. Um, well, I have the mood paint now, which is new, and I haven't even gotten to play with it yet. Okay. Um, but I want to get some mood polish in. I've just been debating what kind to get because I typically am very adamant on trying to be... Uh, make sure you lift your thumb up in the light. Looks mm -hmm. like this didn't quite cure as well as I'd like it to on the thumb. So when you put your thumb in, just lift your thumb up so the light can see it a little bit better. Okay. I want to make sure that this is curing properly. All right. <laughs> Ashley says we do want all the stuff. It's true. You you want all all the things. I always want all the things. And I have many of the things on my desk right now. I have all of the different foil sets. And so my poor clients come in and they're like, I don't know what one to do. Oh, um, listen to that. You just talking about me because I didn't <laughs> Well, they still pick one. I don't have to pick one. But, um, all right. So sometimes you can kind of tell one side's a little bit uh, slipperier than the other. This one's a little glossier. This one's a little, got a little bit more pull. That means that this is the right direction. Um some people are like, I can't get mine to stick. I'm like, well, first try to flip it over. And if it still doesn't stick, we can try some other techniques. But, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. See, I would have never picked that. That's cool, though. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, yeah. la, la. I would just... I'm just running it. Rhonda said, my clients say too many choices. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. So sorry, not sorry. <laughs> because really, like, if we don't have the choices, then we're going to get bored during the day. We don't want to do the same thing all day, every day either, right? Yeah. So I've got to give you guys so many choices that y'all pick different stuff, which sometimes works. Lately, I'd say probably 75% of my clients are picking one of the foils off my table because it's just so cool. Aren't those neat? All right, Thanks. then give me the other one. Oh, I'll put these in there. Nope, you don't have to put them in. I'm just going to get them ready for top coat next. Ooh, Ooh she's a... ooing and on. Yeah, I know. It's just enough. It's enough. Oh. 
just happened. Oh, I wish you guys would have saw the brightness I had before compared to this. Oh my goodness. And I know some of you enjoy hanging out with Shayla, so I thought I would let you know that she will be coming in later this afternoon. So I will go live with her. I showed a picture of her nails, I think, the last time I did them, and someone said, you didn't video it? I like hanging out with her. <laughs> so people are starting to know my clients' names, so they're going to know Ebony, and they're going to be like, oh, those Ebony and, uh, nails. Why wasn't she hanging out with us? It's so funny. Uh, Shayla, she's something. Yeah. <laughs> Ebony knows Shayla. <laughs> yeah it's Shayla's blast so Shayla will be in here later and she typically will always choose mine now so if you want to know how my nails are done I mean it's no different than what I'm doing right now it's just with different foil um but that's her thing unless she decides she doesn't want flowers and then she'd do something else which would be a shock all right so before I top coat this um one thing I like to do whenever I'm doing foil, whether it's got gaps like this or not, is I like to file the edges. And this helps the top coat stick just a bit better than if you're trying to stick it on foil by itself. Um, and occasionally I have a client who might be a picker and they'll find an edge where your foil's kind of, uh, or the top coat's kind of worn maybe a little bit and they will, go to town and pick their top coat and they'll be like oh it came off in the whole sheet i'm like i bet that was fun and they're like mm, yeah so some of those clients you have to be a little bit more careful with um i have one that just she just knows she just won't do foil because she knows she can't handle not picking it cindy says yay she loves it on the first day <laughs> goal all right so there's a little bit there that's off now perfect and a hang up on some stinking scam caller that happens sometimes what did you say um i said this is so much better than the picture that i showed you <laughs> showed me a picture of just orange nails so yeah, these are better than just orange nails. I have to agree. Way more fun. No, I think the pinky had like some gold to it or whatever, but so I just something. like this good color. This is way fun. Yeah. All right, so then I'm just going to gloss. So just make sure you get all the way up to the side. Yeah, I gotta change my phone case. I got a case that's like this color. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh! She's so excited right now. It's so cute. Very cute, Ebony. Yeah, this lady uh, named Jess, she does my nails. <laughs> She's kind of bomb. <laughs> So before I do the thumb, because I'm doing this just a little bit thick and I don't want it to run, I'm going to flash this for just two seconds. And the reason I'm floating it on just a little bit thicker is because I want to make sure that I'm capping the edges of this. Um, capping is important when you are doing your uh, foils. Okay, just freeze that for two seconds. Okay. And that will let me turn her hand and do her thumb without worrying about anything running into the cuticle or anything like that, losing its shape from gravity. I want to make it defy gravity. Does everyone want to sing with me, Wicked? Defying gravity. Oh, I can't sing, and I definitely can't sing when my throat's all crappy. <laughs> Where am I working now? Well, Miss Cindy, I am actually working in a home studio not near as cool as yours, which I still can't believe you're selling. Um, but we found a place that's just big enough, which was the big trick. Um, and of course, it has to have its own entrance and its own bathroom and all that stuff. Um, I did lose quite a few clients with my move because it was a bit farther away and I had already moved once 
far away from the first place. So, you know, now I'm about mm, with no traffic, half an hour from the place I was at um, three years ago. But with traffic, I'm about an hour from the place I was at three years ago. So I did lose a lot of those clients, which was sad. And some have said they might come back when I moved to Monroe. So we'll see. They may love their new tech, so that's fine. Um, but of course, you go to a new place, you get some new people. So I've gotten some great new people, which is nice. So two seconds, please. Okay. But yeah, Cindy, the village is actually gone. Gone, gone. Like, um, oh, really? yeah, one of my clients said that they were over there and it is leveled, the whole village. So I haven't gone by. I think it would depress me too much. <laughs> um, I'm sure someday I'll go by and there'll be all the new condos there and it'll be just blend in like all the rest of the area you know it's not going to have any uniqueness to it anymore whatsoever it's just going to blend right in that's how seattle is yeah gotta love the squeak squeak it squeak it there you go it was a cool place and the i completely agree so i'm just going to go through i'm not taking anything off right now because i want to keep my cap there just making sure none of the top gloss created any bumps or anything like that. Everything is perfectly smooth. I always do this at the end just to try to make it as perfect as possible. And I'm going to take my e file. Add it back in with my, here's my sanding band. And then it's always very important to come up underneath from the front. Um, this is going to thin this out. So you can see that it's quite thick on the ends, right? You don't want that. Um, you want a nice, thin finish to your nails. It also helps keep it the nails from curling. So if you have clients, especially, you know, as climate changes, sometimes they're worse in the summer, sometimes they're worse in the winter, but their nails will curl away and then they peel at them and that's just a big mess. Mm -hmm. um, come on in. Hi. Uh, so sometimes they peel at them and it's it's a big mess. So you want to make sure that you know, doing what you can to prevent that from happening. And I find that um, not only are you thinning out the nail, and we can show you. Let me show you real quick. Let's put that back up. So if you look now, they're nice and thin right on the free edge. You don't have a thickness there. Um, really important step. So if you don't use an e-file for anything else... I suggest you get one just to use for that because you can't do it with anything else. Um, I have hand, fi I hand filed forever. Um, I mentioned my friend Vicky earlier. Vicky made me start doing e-file. <laughs> She's like, just shut up and do it. And I think I took two of her classes, her electric file classes, before I was really comfortable with it. And then I just did a little bit at a time. I would shorten and um, remove like the white for pink and white. And then eventually I started you know, doing more on the whole nail and getting comfortable with it. But I was scared of the e-file at first too. So if you're new um, or even a seasoned uh, tech and you're not super comfortable with your e-file, I highly suggest um, a good e-file class. So we are really lucky that Lisa Comfort is coming to nail camp in Boise. Um, and next year, Camp uh, might be a bit later for the West. I'm looking at possibly doing it down in California, um, but it would be at a different time, probably not October, maybe November. So it'll be a little bit different, but it will be down in California. So if you are up in the Northwest region at all, um, I'm doing it up in Boise, so it's kind of central for you all. But uh, next year we'll either be down there or maybe like New Mexico. So we'll see. I'm looking at a couple different locations for next year for West um, to bring in some new people. So, but you're really lucky this year. If you need some e-file education, um, come to camp and take the class with Lisa Comfort because she is the master. She's actually in Italy most of the time to doing her thing. So we're lucky to have her here in the States. So anyway... All right, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this quick video, and I went over just a few minutes, but not too shabby considering I'm talking all the time, but um, we will catch you guys later, and have a good day. Bye.